Hello, today I'd like to show you how to add a custom field to an invoice document definition or what, sometimes what we call a template. And I want to show you an example of why we would do that. And say for instance I have this invoice sample on my screen and at the bottom of our documents, and this is a very basic example, but maybe at the bottom we have this document ID that I do want to capture for every single document or invoice that comes in. It's a very, very simple process uh, to, to, to add one. We just got to know a little bit about the steps. Now, the very first step that we need to do is we need to create a flexi layout. And uh, flexi layout tells us the textual rules of a document. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to start a brand new uh, flexi layout using the flexi layout studio. And what we're going to do is create a new one. And in the new one, we are going to give it an intelligent name. Um, maybe we'll say this is our you know, invoice number. Okay. And so then we will save this layout. Okay. Now the software is going to create it. We want to make sure that we follow the next steps very, very, very importantly. Uh, the first step is we want to allow multiple pages. And we want to allow that one, two, I, N, F, or in infinite number of pages or infinity there. Next, we will add the, an, a sample that possibly just shows, um, you know, the software where it's at so we can use this to test with. So I'm going to load a sample. Okay. I'm going to disable the header and footer. Those are right there, and we want to disable these. Now, the way we disable them is just right-clicking and disable, and right-click and disable. And in this simple case, I'm going to add a labeled field to extract the document ID down here at the bottom. And so we're going to add an element and a labeled field for document ID. OK. Next thing I will do is just match it. And we'll just make sure here that we have the, doc the document ID as a label and then the field there to the right. Next, we'll add our block so that we can return this back to the product. And then we will save. Now, this is a very basic example of how to add fields. Adding fields in an invoices layout can be done either generically, which means it will happen for every single invoice, or we can do one for um, vendor specific layouts and, and that's not what we're doing we're not doing the latter we're doing the first one we're showing how we do it generically and so what I'm going to do is save this and I'm going to export this project uh, we're going to export the layout here and then I'm going to go into my document definitions and we're going to I'm just going to duplicate one to show this to you and what I would like to do is go to our properties and we will go to our Flexi Layout tab and we will load a new one. We want to find the path of that AFL that we exported. Okay. And you can see here, when, since I told it to keep the custom fields, you can see my document ID now is created over here at the right. I will close this and I will save it. Once we publish it, we'll create a new batch, and we'll load that sample in just so I can show you um, now that the software is not only extracting the other invoice details, but it's extracting um, that document number as well. And there, if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see now we're extracting the document ID. And we would do that now on every single document that we extract. So that's a very, very simple example of how we create a generic layout that will uh, be in place for every single invoice uh, that we process through the system. But you can see with all the flexibility of the, both the Flexi Layout Studio and the FlexiCapture application, we can pretty much customize the solution to do what we would like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to us on our website, and we look forward to, to working with you. Thank you so much.